Hey, it's Mark Seamus. Question is, is what makes a network marketing plan illegal? Well, let's get into it. I've been in the industry a real long time, more than three decades. I've seen a lot of companies over that time. Many I've been involved with personally. Some I'm not involved with, but I have friends and colleagues that are definitely promoting them. I've seen some really good compensation plans. I've seen some horrible ones that they're not illegal, but they're not great. But then there are some compensation structures which are flat out illegal. So what would make it that way? Well, let's get into it. What are some of the compensation structures that are considered legal? Well, you have your breakaways, the stair step breakaways. You have the unilevels. You're gonna have your binaries. You're gonna have your one-ups and two-ups. These are the common ones you'll see out there. You're gonna see your matrixes. All of these have variations. Variations meaning that sometimes they're gonna have a little bit different to it, like a matrix. You might have a matrix that's only two wide, so it almost looks like a binary. You might have some that are three, four, five, even six wide. I've seen, I've seen up to eight wide on the first level for a matrix. It's pretty insane. It's like an octopus matrix. On the other hand, I've seen in one company I was promoting years ago, they had a trinary. It's like a binary, but you got three legs. And then based on your biggest leg and your second biggest leg, that's what they would pay you certain commissions on and your smallest leg got ignored. There's nothing illegal about these. That's how the company's choosing to have their breakage so that they can take care of you as a promoter and also stay in business. Breakage is not always a bad thing because every company has operational costs in order for you to continue to have an opportunity. What makes it illegal though, is when a company starts doing things which the government has already deemed as being not okay. What's an example? Well, years ago, there were lawsuits that were filed against people like one of the people I really respected, Dexter Yeager. Him and other people, they had these incredible systems of support that would help you to grow your business. But they weren't part of the Amway Corporation. They were something created by a private company, their company. And what these would do is they would have you as the leader buy a book of the week and a tape of the week to help to grow your, your business. And they even had events that you can go to, which would be events run by his company, his organization. You're part of his downline. Well, what happened is, is that they would collect fees for all these things, the tapes, the books, and the events that you would go to in person. And then a portion of the profits of those things, they would give out to people which were helping to promote those things. So obviously certain people in your upline. So you have a secondary business within the business. Well, the things they were selling you are what they label, the government labels as sales aids. Things that help you to grow your business, but they're not the business. So after the court cases, what they decided, the government that is, they decided that it was illegal for a company to be able to give you commissions on any money that was collected for sales aids. And there were certain other companies in the industry that went through similar lawsuits and they lost. Now based on that, what that means is that if a company charges you, whether it be $100 or $40 or $10 or whatever it is to join as an independent business owner, an affiliate, a promoter, whatever name a company wants to call it for their company, it is illegal for them to actually pay you a commission on that amount because that's considered to be a fee to be a member in their company. It's not a product, it's not a service. Now, part of the decision is that what they decided legally is that only a product or service, a legitimate, a viable product or service can receive compensation. So if I sell you, for example, going back to Amway, they had what was called SA8 soap, or they had Neutralite, which was nutritional supplement. If you buy that from them, 
then obviously it's a viable product. They can pay you a commission on that. On the other hand, Amway used to have a distributor kit. They legally cannot give the upline people any commissions on that kit. No different than online companies that don't do a lot of offline events. They can't charge you a member fee, an affiliate fee, a rep fee, a pro promoter fee, whatever they want to call it again. Regardless the amount that it is, small or big. And they can't give that paid in a certain pay structure format to the people of that company as part of their fast start bonus. That is deemed illegal. Now, am I a strickler on those things? I am. I'm a little bit anal on that. Why? Because the government cracks down on these things and you can lose your residual income overnight. I've seen it happen to companies. I've seen it go on. All right, let's get into some other things. What other things are considered illegal in compensation structures? Next one would be if a company starts to make guaranteed income claims to the promoters, this can be very, not just borderline, but flat out illegal because you might need licensing because you fall into SEC, Security Exchange Commission territory. So if you make an investment, maybe you wanna do Forex, you wanna do stock exchange, you wanna do some other investment with a company, you would have to have licensing and compliance with the SEC, whatever country you might be in, in order to get that guaranteed return from what you invested. They're gonna have a certain information that they're gonna give you as an investor to tell you what your returns are gonna be. And in that documentation, you know the risk and you know exactly what the gains can be in spite of the risk. What happens when companies make guaranteed claims that you can earn so much money, whether it be 5,000 or 2,000 or even $100 guaranteed, and here's the kicker. If they tell you that you don't have to do anything, all you gotta do is sign up and it will start to develop on its own. This is when it changes from a business opportunity into a security investment. Life insurance, for example. Can anybody just sell life insurance? No. You need to get yourself licensed to sell it. I was a licensed insurance agent years ago. I sold annuities and life insurance and car insurance and all kinds of insurance. So. I know from personal experience, I had to get all those four licenses that I had at the time. Okay? So they license these things that they consider to be a threat, a danger to the public, because people that aren't trained well enough. Watch my other videos where I talk about training, how important it is. They don't want people to not have the training in certain products, especially if there's a guaranteed return. Same thing with people that work on Wall Street. You don't just walk off the street and work on Wall Street. There's a certain level of training that you need and that goes behind it. And there's a lot of licensing at those firms in order for them to even say they have a guaranteed return. I won't go too much further other to say that if a company tells you that they can guarantee a return and you can be passive and not do anything at all other than pay your your fee to be a part of that company, and you're gonna get a return, I would not just run fast away from it. I'd find a legal opportunity that actually doesn't promise those things. Now, if that company is licensed with the SEC and they are registered as a security, that is the exception. That's the difference, and by all means, if it makes sense for you, if you have an investment person that handles things for you, it makes sense to them, then go for it. There's a few other things that in compensation plans might be illegal, but those are the primary two. Primary two. And I think that when you're looking at joining a company, you want to make sure that you do know those things before you come in. Because when governments step in and they do shut down programs for compensation plan issues, it's because they see that it's not an accident. They see that there is a predatory, purposeful-driven 
reason for the compensation plan being the way it is because many of the people wouldn't have joined otherwise if that element wasn't in place to entice them to be part of the opportunity. I hope everyone has a great day. If you're looking for an ethical opportunity that is legal in its compensation structure, there is no amount of money being paid from the $40. Wow, that was loud. There is no money being paid from the $40 that people spend to become a member. It's a one-time $40 fee. There's no commissions being paid on that. And there's no guaranteed amount of income you can make just for being a promoter and showing up. It's based on many factors, including your own effort, your own skill, and the efforts of your upline team as well. All right, I look forward to working with you. Hope you have a super day. There is a link somewhere around here, so see what I'm doing. Take a free tour. And if you want an ethical, legal compensation plan, network marketing business to join and work, we got one. Love to work with you. All right, I'll see you soon.